Hey, just a quick unboxing video. Uh, how this come about, this package from Cool Brewing, I'll put the link down there. They came on the Cellar Dweller Facebook page at some stage and asked uh, what would be a good Australian distributors uh, for their product, their new product they had to sell. I gave them a few suggestions, the usual ones, Keg King, um, Grain and Grave and a few other shops I mentioned. And anyway, in the end they said, they'd send me one so I can do a video and test it and see how it goes. Now what it is, is a fermenter cooler. Um, I think it probably can be used as a heater as well. But uh, if you haven't got a fridge, you have no space for a fridge, uh, this might be what you need. I haven't opened it yet. Thanks to Cool Brewing again. Um, Let's open it and have a look what it actually is. Don't stick the knife in it. Uh. Okay. Here we open it. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, it's like a big collapsible uh, esky cooler, chili bin if you're in <laughs> New Zealand. They call things funny names sometimes. Um, but it's a size for your fermenter. And it's nice and big. Uh, for example, that's a 25 litre. Um, fermenter. So I guess, what's that, that's about six and a half gallons. That can easily, as you can see by there, disappears inside there. I could easily fit my 30 litre, 35 litre fermenter in there without issues. So that's good to know. Even with the, because uh, we have the fermenters with the faucet on them, the tap, spigot, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and that will easily fit inside there. So that's good to know. I was a bit worried about the size. And it's got a zip to close it up. And it's totally waterproof too. It's very well made by the looks of it. I don't know if there's actually any seams inside. Except down the side. There might, oh no, there is one down the bottom. But it's very solid, insulated as well. So apparently it's waterproof if you have a leak or a blowout. Uh, you don't nothing to worry about. Now I'll give you a closer look with the camera. Okay, so and then the other good thing about it is that it folds back down again, and you can throw it away when you, you know not throw it away, throw it in the cupboard when you don't need it. It's not bad. I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, I haven't got a brew going right now, but the next brew I'm going to do. One of my fermentation fridges has happened to break down a few months ago, so it hasn't been replaced. So I'm going to be able to test it for cooling uh, or keeping a wort cool. Uh, wort. Apparently, you know, you can put frozen bottles in there of water to try and bring the temp down. Uh, whatever you can think of that's cold, I guess. So there you go. That's a six, as I said before, that's a six and up out of six and a half gallon or 25 litre fermenter. And there is plenty of room in there. There is plenty inches around each side and plenty in the height too that's a good um, three quarters of a foot 20 centimeters height above that and that's it zipped up there so I'll, I'll just read the blurb on it what does it say easy effective and affordable much less expensive than a refrigerator setups twice as efficient as traditional methods for cooling 100% waterproof Works with multiple size fermenters, contains any mess of fermentation blowout, folds up for easy storage. Size at 21.5 inches by 26.5 inches internal to fit standard 5, 6 and 6.5 gallon fermenters and carboys. Uh, just add ice packs, frozen bottles uh, and switch out as needed to desired temperature. Uh, as I said, I think you'd be able to use that for heating too. I don't see any problems with uh, 
You know those barley heat bags you put on your sore muscles and things, or hot water bottles? I reckon if you whacked a few of those in uh, during winter, you might be all right. Maybe not over in your garage covered in snow, but I don't have that problem here in Australia. As far as I can see, it's from MI, United States. That's Michigan, isn't it? So I'm not sure in Australia yet if you'll be able to get them anywhere. If you want to get one before you see me do the test. But I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just like a big esky for your, uh, for your fermenter. Now I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, I'll do that in the next week or two. And thanks again to Cool Brewing for sending me one to try. And I'll get on and review it as soon as I can. Alright, cheers.